Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did hit the uh, top of the Bollinger Band yesterday and we tested it yet again today. And then we pulled back. Question is, how far would this will pull back? And 300 moving average is right here. Uh, 92.5 and then we have the middle of the bullish band right here 92.3 and that probably as far as this will go as we can see that we have basically bounced from that area the last if basically the last few weeks we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 300 moving average the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average and all of those are fairly bullish signs that we are going to see this continue uh, going higher if we manage to take out the highs here of not roughly 93.4 then we were probably going to these highs at 94 and then 94.7 and then beyond that technical indicators are looking fairly bearish at this point macd is flat stochastic is becoming bearish and the rsi is bearish as well but we are fairly overstretched we have our rallying since this was basically in the beginning of june all the way to uh, end of June, uh, July, and at this moment, a pullback is naturally uh, expected as we are overstretched and overbought, nearly overbought at, at that point. So let's look at oil. So oil has a really a rally today. We are up more than 5%, 5.4% at this current stage. And uh, we have broken above the 50 moving average. We're trading at 70 10. You can see that MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. So we have seen similar moves before. We saw, for example, three consecutive days, for example, here, and then we continue rallying. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential in the middle of the bullish band, then we are probably going back towards the all-time highs here. Uh, not the all-time highs, but the highs of roughly at uh, 76 and then going to 80. So, I would not bet the ranch on that. Uh, we may basically pull back when the market uh, reopens and taking out this low here of uh, 60, 65.1. That opens the door back towards 60. And uh, I would pay attention to the US dollar. If the US dollar continues to uh, appreciate, then that should work against uh, this, um, against oil and most other uh, commodities as well. Um, so, Yes, it's kind of waiting game, but a really impressive uh, move today. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas hit the highs here of roughly 3.9 and now we're trading at 3.9030. MACD is bullish, the classic is bullish and the RSI is bullish. So at this current stage, we need to look back where we basically will find in the next major resistant because as you can see we have basically broken above this resistant line here the next one is uh, far far above so manage to break above four then we could be heading towards five so we are getting very overstretched here for example in in the weekly chart we are at 77 significantly overbought we are at the top of the bullish band but every single time we have a my basically a pullback this rallies so we are the distance between the, where we are now and the 20 exponential in the middle of bullish band is quite substantial but we didn't have pull pull back the last a few weeks and uh, found major support down here at the 3.5 so at this point it looks like if we take out four then we are going towards five so let's look at copper so i will stop by looking at the week daily so copper is still struggling at the 20 exponential. It rallies up towards the 20 and then it breaks down. We are still descending lower. So gradually just going lower, lower, lower. If we manage to take out these lows here at the 4.09, then we are mostly going to four and then the 200 moving average. It doesn't look very bullish for this market whatsoever. Um, 20 exponential, we're struggling there. And then we have the 50 above and we'll definitely struggle there if we get towards that um, moving average. 
If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, and stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So around four, 200 moving average, that is probably where we'll end up at this point if nothing really happens here and this basically breaks above the 50 and goes back towards the highs. So let's go gold. So gold did run into major resistance here. The 200 moving average yesterday broke towards the level middle of the bull in Japan and then basically bounced. So we're still down today and uh, US dollar depreciating should, were, should be bullish for this. However, we need to break them below the middle of the bullish band in order to go towards the 7050. Break below 7050, that opens the door to these previous lows here, the double bottom of 1678. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. MACD is still bullish, but it is leveling off. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish. So momentum looks like it is to the downside, but we need to break below this in order to go towards the 7050. So let's look at silver. So silver has bounced off of the 300 moving average and roughly we were very overstretched here on uh, yesterday. I was on Monday and today we were way outside of the bullish band and then we rallied. At this point, it kind of looks like we're going to test back the 200 moving average and the, or the middle of the bullish band roughly at 25.93. Technical indicators are all still fairly bearish at this point. So break below the 300 moving average, then we are looking at the much lower levels. Then we are probably going to focus on this area here at the 22, but 300 moving average is still holding here. And uh, we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average in the long run, if this basically continues. So let's look at platinum. So platinum fell off a cliff on Monday and on uh, and now on, on Tuesday. Oh, this one Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday we rally. Sorry. So we have recovered a bit. Uh, it was a really nasty fall uh, when the market opened on Monday, but uh, we have basically found support down here at the ten fifty seven. Technical indicators are still fairly bearish at this point. MACD is uh, leveling off, going to cross the signal line here. Stochastic is, is bearish and the RSI is, is flat. So if we manage to break above the 20, 200 moving average and the 20 exponential, then we're probably going back to the 50 moving average. But this is not a massive recovery for after this fall. So we fell roughly from 11.27 all the way down towards 10.66. So it was a massive fall and haven't really recovered at this point. So if we rally up here, we can easily break down back towards the 300 moving average at this point. So it's kind of a waiting game. And at the moment, it's just in the middle of nowhere. So look at Pallium. So Pallium, very similar. We gapped down, fell on yesterday, recovered a little bit. Today recovered yet also a little bit. But still, we are far away from these highs. So this has been a very uh, up and down the market. And uh, 200 moving average, uh, we have to conclude, is still massive support. So every time we get close to the 200 moving average, we didn't really test it here. This market tends to rally. And that's a fairly bullish thing. As uh, we can see here, we rally, 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 and so on. We have not managed to break below the 200 moving average in this basically chart here and, and chart here and that's a very good thing uh, for the bulls at least so break above the 50 moving average then we're going back to the top but that kind of looks like a massive grind to the upside so mcd is still bearish sarcastic is bearish and the rsi is flat at this point so let's get aluminium so aluminium, very similar, recovered a little bit yesterday and then fell yet again today. And we have not really recovered from this fall on Monday. But we are in a slight uptrend. We're basically in a real uptrend here and the pullbacks have all been bought into in this market. So we fell down towards roughly 24.05. And now we're trading at 24.48. And break below the middle of the bullish band, then we're going back towards the, probably going back towards the very highs here. 
and break below this candlestick, then we are going most likely going to go targeting 23, 38, and so on. So it is also kind of waiting in where this technically uh, ends up. Otherwise, technical indicators are all bearish at this point. So let's look at nickel. So nickel <laughs> fell uh, massively on Monday, rallied yesterday a little bit. Today we fell yet again, and then we rallied, but ended up still in red. So it is a very volatile market. We are still finding support at the 50, at the 20 exponential, and as long as that is the case, this will basically go higher and higher and higher. 18,553 is where we're trading at this current stage. MACD is flat, the classic is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. And as long as these moving averages hold, then they are basically buying on the dips. So let's look at sugar. So we have it right here. So very similar to sugar as well. We fell right off a cliff yesterday, last week, uh, recovered a little bit, fell on Monday yet again. And then we are trading at 0 0.1763. If we manage to take out the highs from Monday, then we're mostly going back towards these highs. Break below the 2050 moving average, opens the door to 0 0.17. And then the very bottom of the bullish band. Technical indicators otherwise are showing that momentum is to the upside. Stochastic in MACD is becoming bullish. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at cotton. So cotton fell really aggressively on, on Monday, rallied um, on uh, yesterday, and then rallied a little bit today as well. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is flat, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. And this is very similar. Buying on the dips is what people are doing here. So massive falls have been bought into, and it looks like we are just going to do the same thing here. And target will most likely be the very uh, the previous high here of 0 0.90, and then the all time high, or the very high here of 95. So let's look at cocoa. So cocoa did gap lower on Monday, recovered a little bit yesterday, and today we tried to recover and then just fell off cliff yet again. So we're getting very low in the RSI. We are also at the bottom of the bullish band. So a rally towards the middle of the bullish band, they could be expected. Um, there's a massive gap here that we need to, need to fill. But still, long-term trend for this year has basically been negative. So we started off here in December last year, uh, where we rallied massively. And then we have basically just gradually gone lower and lower and lower. And at this point, we have tested the previous lows here from, uh, this was November last year. If that basically really, that breaks, then we are going back towards the lows from last year of 2096. And that's kind of where we're ending up at this point. Technical indicators otherwise are all very bearish. So let's look at wheat. So wheat market continues to rally the 300 moving average is where we ended up around that area and then we basically rallied. We are still very overstretched and so pull back towards uh, support which should be around uh, 700. That is kind of um, yeah, where we found resistance here and uh, also where we found resistance here. So pull back around this area that could be where we will continue to rally. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish. We are at 64 in this current stage, still a lot of room to the upside. We're most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average, uh, oh, 20 and the 50 moving average, and that should also very, be very bullish. So at this current stage, it is fairly overstretched, and a pullback could be expected before going higher. So hope you found this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing and hit the like button below to see our news videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.